I love that bees can be a conversation that anyone can participate in and can learn from. So I would love to get to a point to where um, this next generation is so connected with where their food comes from and all of the pollinators that are responsible for that. I'm Tammy Enright. I'm the executive director for the Bee Cause Project, an educational nonprofit that gives bee grants to schools. I think the problem we're trying to solve is really twofold. One is connecting the kids back to the natural world. When they start taking care of the bees, they actually start caring about the bees and starting those conversations at their own dinner tables. What can we do to protect the bees? The second reason we're doing it is that bees are in trouble. Um, you know, the plight of the honeybee and pollinators in general is real. For each grade level, the first week of Science Lab, we introduce it and we talk about why bees are important and how the bee population is declining. And it's really important that we can do things, even at their age, that can help the bee population. In the third and fourth grade, we've offered an after-school beekeeping program where they come in and we teach them how to be beekeepers. And by the end of it, they're suiting up, they're going on the roof to the working hives, they're harvesting the honey, they're selling the honey, and it's just been such an incredible program for our school. Our original goal was to put a thousand beehives in schools across the country, and we're halfway there. You know, it started with the 10 schools right here in Charleston, South Carolina. The Whole Foods Market in Charleston sponsored us for a 5% day, and um, that really lit the fire under us to become an official nonprofit. It was a natural next step, I think, for Whole Kids Foundation, which already had a gardening grant program and had been thinking about expanding into the bee world um, to partner with us. We have proven the concept, we've piloted this program, and we have a wait list with hundreds of schools on it. I would love for them to be able to um, have a comprehensive conversation about where our food comes from, um, what all of the attributes are of having a healthy food system so that we really can have the kids starting to make changes locally in their own communities.